Hello everyone and welcome back to our videos Today we will talk about the induction system of turbine engine In section A we talked about the induction system of reciprocating engine The difference between the reciprocating engine and turbine engine induction system The first one consume much air than reciprocating engine to operate faster air speed three, three intake air enter turbine engine more than reciprocating engine eliminating intricate ducting the turbine engine air inlet consider an airframe component rather than a part of the engine Turbofan and turbojet air inlet duct. The purpose of the air inlet recover as much of total pressure of the free air stream as possible and deliver this pressure to the compressor. And this called ram recovery or pressure recovery. And it used to rise up the pressure above the atmospheric pressure and this called ram effect and the last purpose provide uniform supply of air to the compressor the location of the air inlet the air inlet location depends on the engine location the first one engine mount, the second one fuselage mount, and the third one wing mount. And focus with me here, we talk about the location of the air inlet, not the type of the air inlet. Because after this we will talk about the type of air inlet. Here as we see here, the air intake of gas turbine engine is either built to the unit to the airframe itself if the engine is mounted to the airframe. And as we see here a turbofan engine, the air intake of gas turbine engine is either built into the airframe itself if the engine is mounted in the airframe or is forward part of the nissel installation if the engine is wing or rear fuselage mounted now we will talk about the type of air inlet we have three type the first type called subsonic air inlet the second type supersonic inlet the third type and it's the last bell mouth inlet we will start talk about the subsonic air inlet it's a divergent shape work like the diffuser and we know the function of the diffuser is to decrease the velocity and increase the pressure the turbofan air inlet have two types the first type is called the short duct as we hear as we see here the duct is short the second type is called long duct this the long duct what's the meaning of ram effect ram effect result from the forward movement which causes air to build up or compress in the inlet the faster an aircraft flies the more the air compresses and the higher the inlet air pressure rise above the ambient. Anytime air accelerate 
its pressure decrease. On the ground, the pressure in the air inlet below the ambient pressure when the aircraft move forward the ram effect start to increase the air pressure in the inlet. The second type is called supersonic inlet. The air entering the end turbine engine must flow slower than the speed of sound. The inlet duct on supersonic aircraft must decrease the speed of the inlet air before it reach compressor. Air flow principle. Air flowing at subsonic speed is considered to be incompressible, while the air flowing at supersonic speed is compressible. Because of this, air flowing at supersonic speed reacts differently when forced to flow through convergent divergent opening. The change that occurs when supersonic air flow when ever something travel through the air at speed of sound a shock waves forms once formed in the air flowing the shock waves slow the subsonic speed and increase in pressure this the convergent shape and this the divergent shape The inlet design of the supersonic inlet duct. To slow the air inlet, air to subsonic velocity, all supersonic aircraft use convergent divergent duct. The convergent divergent diameter of the duct decrease then increase from front to back. As we see here, this the convergent and this the divergent. The subpersonic inlet duct must be designed to operate in three speed modes. Subsonic speed, transonic speed, supersonic speed. The inlet shape changes from a change of air speeds supersonic aircraft atalyzes an inlet duct with variable geometric construction the method used to vary the geometric or shape of the inlet duct is movable wedge and movable spike and we see here this the movable wedge at subsonic flight and this the movable wedge at supersonic flight and here the second method movable spike and this the movable spike and here the ear enters to the turbo engine the third type and it's the last type of the inlet is the bell mouth and it's considered to convergent profile the bell mouth ear inlet used in helicopters aircraft some slow moving aircraft when engine run in ground test bell mouth inlet short in length and has round shoulder Now we will talk about the turboprop air inlet. The type of inlet duct is ducted spinner and conical spinner. The advantage or the, adv the disadvantages of the duct spinner is heavier, difficult to maintain, and harder to de-icing. 